Hey friends, Ashton here with Gen Sense, back with another 80s review. First off, I know what you're thinking. That tie looks terrible and that haircut's awesome. The scent that we're gonna be taking a look at today is Yoop Ohm. We'll go ahead and check out the bottle really briefly and then break down the fragrance itself to see if this can still work in today's modern age. Let's go ahead and check out the presentation here really quickly. This is not a vintage bottle. I'm doing a modern one. If anybody wants to buy this, it's gonna be way easier to just purchase it new instead of trying to source a vintage bottle. It's fairly simple. It just says Yoop Ohm on the front here. Uh, the juice is obviously a fluorescent pink color. It has this big plastic cap which just slides on. It doesn't click into place, but you can pick it up if you need to. Nothing doing on the back. On the bottom, you've got your batch code, size, and concentration information. And this has a pretty good atomizer. No! Pretty good. That's the presentation for you. Um, I'm not going to lie to you. This is not really my thing. This starts off with a sickly, sweet, synthetic, cherry kind of cough syrup vibe. If that doesn't smell good, we're on the same page. It's not good. It's really, really overpowering, really chemically, and smells like a cheap cherry cough syrup. The first time I smelled this, I immediately knew I hated it, so I gave it to my brother. I figured if one of us has to smell horrible, better him than me. The dry down of Yoop is better than the opening, but that's not saying a whole lot. The main players are sandalwood, vanilla, and cinnamon. It's mainly that sandalwood with a little bit of cinnamon spice and some slight vanillic sweetness. But there's this weird plasticky kind of smell that's in the background the entire way through the dry down. So even though it tones down on that cherry synthetic sweetness and brings in a little vanilla and sandalwood and a little spice, it has this off-putting plasticky note in the background. So even though it improves, it still doesn't really get good. You could point to the cheapness on this and be like, that's nice, it's affordable, I can buy a 4.2 like this for 20 bucks, good to go. The only problem with that is Mont Blanc Individual has a similar scent, only much nicer, that will get you more compliments and that wears easier and costs about the same. The performance on Yoop Ohm is apocalyptic. This thing will destroy you and everyone around you if you spray too much of it. This can be a headache inducer to the maximum. So the performance is good. It performs, it projects, it lasts. So if you wear this, wear it with the understanding that if you go crazy, you're going to choke everyone out in a 300 foot radius of yourself. Considering how this performs, it's better worn in the winter, probably at night. You know, if you want to, you can throw it back and you can start wearing this as a club scent instead of Eros or One Million. Just throw it back to 89, spray on some Yoop, you will overpower everyone around you and maybe you'll find some ladies that really like the way it smells. Like I said, Yoop Ohm is not really my thing. I don't really like that sickly sweet opening. I don't like that plasticky feel on the dry down. Just not into it. But if you are, that's okay. We're all different and that's awesome. But I do see where Yoop Ohm was important. If this doesn't happen, maybe Individual doesn't happen. If that doesn't happen, maybe Original Santal doesn't happen. Who knows what happens then? It's like a butterfly effect. Everything that you know in perfumery would be different if you boom didn't come out probably well guys that's all that i've got for you today we kicked it back to 1989 if you want to wear this out in the clubs today go for it it's cheap you'll overpower everybody maybe someone will like it <laughs> let me know what you think about you boom as always thanks for watching like comment subscribe and i will see you guys next time goodbye